Citizenship and the Digital World Digital citizenship is defined as the use of technology in a safe, responsible manner. Digital citizenship also means being aware of the impact our actions have on others and ourselves, while also ensuring that we are being ethical in our interactions with others online. Examples of being a good digital citizen are following the rules of online communities, respecting other people's privacy online, and being respectful in your interactions with others online. A digital citizen should be aware of three main topics, online security and privacy, how to interact with others online, and digital well-being. Online security and privacy are two important aspects of our digital lives. Online security and privacy is compromised when our data is exposed to unauthorized users, or when we have weak passwords that can be easily guessed by bad actors. Protecting your online security and privacy means making sure that you protect your identity, passwords, and other sensitive information, and that you use strong passwords on all of your accounts. You can also protect yourself against malware by using a VPN or a password manager. Digital citizenship has a lot to do with how you interact with others online. Netiquette, that is, the set of rules for being polite online, is about being respectful, considerate, and honest online. It's easy to forget how important it is to follow netiquette when you're just trying to get your point across or make a joke, but it's important to remember that other people are reading what you write and seeing what you post. The internet can be accessed by all types of people from all around the world, so it's important to be tolerant of other people's differences and respect everyone even when we don't agree with them. Maintaining good relationships with others online is key for digital wellness, but it's not always possible, especially when we are the ones being the victims of cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is the act of bullying someone online. It's a type of harassment and can have serious consequences for the person being bullied. The most common form of cyberbullying is when someone makes mean comments on social media or sends threatening messages, but there are other ways that you can be bullied on the internet, too. It could be through posting your personal information without your permission, like phone numbers or addresses, sharing intimate photos without your consent, or hacking your accounts to change things like your password so that you can't log into them anymore. Cyberbullying can lead to depression and anxiety in some people, but luckily there are a few easy ways you can prevent it from happening to you. First off, if you see anyone being cyberbullied, or if someone is bullying you, report it immediately. You can also block bullies from contacting you on platforms like Instagram or Facebook. Finally, make sure any accounts that are linked to yours are secure by changing your passwords often and not sharing them with anyone else. Remember that you should always prioritize your well-being. This means eliminating negative influences online, and making sure that the time you spend online is intentional and meaningful that it serves as a way for you to connect with other people or find new ways of making things happen in your life. It's about being aware of your online habits and taking steps to make sure that they're healthy for you.